What up, y'all? It's the Jeff Wilson here on Jeff Does What, and today we're putting the Macau X3 Pro together and putting it through its test. Now, with this X3 Pro, all you need is a supplied Phillips head screwdriver to put this together. Now, to start things off, we're going to take these M12 screws and screw them back here, one on each side. And then we're going to come through and take our X rail and slide it on. Now, once we got our rail slide on, we come through and do the same thing back here and screw that down as well. Now, once we have our frame put together, it's time to put the legs on. Now, first, you got your controller, which is going to act for the legs of this front part up here, which is going to be using the M12 screw. And it'll screw up in there. And we got three other legs that we're going to screw on as well. So just to clarify, on our frame, we got the M30s. On our corners, we have the M8s. And then on the inside, we got the M12. So this is also M12, M8, same on the back side. Now this is actually my fault for not reading the instructions first. We do got to run our belt in between this frame, underneath this wheel, over the roller, back underneath this wheel. And we'll have to take out these four corner screws and we'll add a washer to help hold tension on this belt. As you see, that's where that's going. It's running through the track, underneath the wheel, over that, back under. And we did the same thing on this side. Now the next one we have to install is our 10 watt laser. And all it's gonna do, we got a plug right here. Pop that on, slide that down. We got a little bolt that will screw in right there. Help hold it in place. Forgot to mention earlier, we do got a little wire to plug in over here at the front corner, and that goes to this little limit switch right over here. Now, the very last thing we gotta do is connect our air pump. It'll just slide in easily up here, and then this will screw in to the laser. Now, to start things off, I already got this thing over here running. I'm just doing a basic engraving so we can get the detail out of this because with this 10 watt, that is what it is built for, for that nice intricate detail because it has such a small point of what it can engrave. <laughs> Now this has about 30 more minutes to go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually walk away because this does have a fire safe alarm on here. So if something does happen, it automatically shuts off. And being on this honeycomb as well, if something happens where all of a sudden it's just straight burning through, I got the air gap from the honeycomb as well through here, which has a piece of metal underneath it. So I ain't got to worry about my table catching on fire as well. But that shouldn't happen anyway because it has a fire safe alarm on here to help stop everything. We'll let this keep on burning, and we'll be right back. Now that it's done with our engraving, what we're going to do next, I'm actually going to cut this out. Now, I, got, I drew a box around this. I'm going to come over here, turn my air all the way up, and we're going to see how well it does on cutting this eighth-inch plywood. There it goes. You see, extremely great detail on that. Now that's from, with this being a smaller 10 watt laser, it's able to get such a smaller point from that laser and can do this really nice detail work. And as you saw, 
it cut through an eighth inch plywood like it was nothing. Now some of y'all are saying, okay, it does wood. Just about all lasers do that. How's it doing on stainless? How would y'all look at that? That came out great looking. And me just playing around, I did spray paint the other side of this just to see how well it did on aerosol. Came out great looking. Now I probably should have cleaned the metal a little bit better before I just spray dry spray some aerosol on there because that's what it looks like. But I just wanted to make sure it burned through there and I'm impressed with the detail. It did an extremely great job on that. Now on this Mapal X3 Pro, like I said earlier, it is just a 10 watt. You don't always need the most powerful laser on the market. This right here, like I said, with it being such a low wattage, they're able to get a finer point for that laser dot which helps out create more detail in whatever you're engraving. So, so with this, it will excel at engraving your photos or your high detailed images. And at the same time, it will cut. Like I said, I could probably put a quarter inch in here, do two passes around. It'll cut it no problem more than likely. But with this, I have more powerful lasers. I need something where I can get that real fine detail, especially when I start running something say a wedding picture someone wants i know i can load this up in there and get crazy good detail also at the same time this is one of the most budget friendly lasers there is on the market and if you click the link in the description i do have a discount code it's pinned right back below it as well i'd go on and pick one up if you're looking for something to engrave and also with this laser, as far as setup, you saw how easy this was to put together. This is one of the easiest ones I've ever had to put together. There's not a whole lot to it. There's not a lot of parts to worry about. It's easy to adjust the belts on here to get everything tensioned right. There's nothing to this laser, which simplicity makes it that much better. Now, if you want to keep seeing more and more of me putting together lasers and just running through the basics of them, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you can, go ahead and like this video and share it around with your friends. Till next time, y'all take it easy.